it's a different when a person has been deceived, they will be spared. When a person has been deceived, see what I'm saying? They just deceived and know whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We pray for our enemies because it is a spiritual thing, right? But there are some people that know good and well what they're doing. Some of these people know they have pledged allegiance to Satan. The, the, he don't suffer which to live. You, you see what I'm saying? You got to have a different mindset than this. You got to understand the place of the prayer. You got to know who you're dealing with. See, you shaking hand and trying to be friend, friend with this witch. You would invited her in your house and in your place. She, she, yeah, yeah, I like you. Come on, drink some tea. She, she trying to plot against you, destroy everything you got. Some don't. Some of these folks ain't gonna survive because they have pledged allegiance to evil. And as, as the Holy Ghost said before, if they will not be converted, they're going to be cut off. This is the time and the season that we're living in. I, now, you can take it how you want to take it. Pray how you want to pray. If you, you, hey, if it works for you, work, work, whatever you do. But I'm telling you, some of these people that you that, that, that's fighting in these places, it's not just that it's a demon spirit influencing them. They know it's a demon spirit. They go, they go home in their place and they give sacrifices to these things. Doctors, lawyers, teachers hula hoop dancers whoever they are 